Hello everyone, Tim here. It is good to be talking with you all. It's good to see you all again. Uh, this video is going to be about my top 10 movies from quarter two of 2022. I actually did a video like this for the quarter one. So that was January, February, March. Uh, this video will be quarter two, which is April, May, and June. And we just hit the last Tuesday of the month. So this is it. We know everything that came out from April, May, and June. So over to my side here, I've got 10 movies that they work out to be my top 10 of this time. So I'm excited to dive into these and show you what are the favorites for me, at least. Before diving in, I feel like it would be wrong to not throw this out there because people will end up mentioning about them otherwise. Uh, Batman, I still haven't gotten around to this one yet. Maybe this would have cracked my top 10, who knows, but because I didn't get to it yet, it's not in my top 10. And Spider-Man, I did see this. I liked it well enough. It does not make my top 10. So just to throw that out there so everyone knows, because I know those are probably, for some people, two biggest releases within quarter two, but I got a bunch of other stuff that work out for my favorites. All right, we're going to start this one off big. This is not in order of best to worst, worst to best, or anything like that. But I'm just going to throw right out my top release of quarter two. Just throw it out there. It's probably other people's favorite. But my gosh, this uh, Drive Second Sight is absolutely incredible. My gosh, uh... You've probably seen the unboxing for this thing on so many channels. This thing is it's a work of art for physical media. Uh, I love it. This most definitely is in my top 10. It's 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 my favorite, but uh, this is not in order. It's just, I want to throw this one out there right off the bat. Next one, because I really want to talk about this one. Uh, first time watch for me, Vampire's Kiss. This just got an MVD release. I I enjoyed the heck out of this. Uh, this is Nick Cage at his craziest. I mean, some of the stuff that we've seen in memes and stuff came from this movie. It is absolutely bonkers wild. This movie, it just... I enjoyed the heck out of it. Uh, well, well, well worth the money if you're looking for a wild and zany Nick Cage movie and you haven't seen this one check this MVD release out uh it it's great <laughs> so th yeah this this definitely I knew this had to be my top 10 only someone like me would go from Vampire's Kiss to a legitimate all-time cinema classic <laughs> I am all over the map but this Criterion 4k for double indemnity is incredible uh I've said it before, but black and white movies, to me, I, I think they benefit the largest amount to the 4K format. Uh, the upgrade you get is just, it's miraculous what they can do. But uh, Double Indemnity is a great release because this is also just a phenomenal movie. I absolutely love this release. Uh, Criterion Sale coming up next month. Very, very, very soon. Definitely check this one out. If you haven't seen it, I think you'll like it. Uh, it. It's fantastic. Next one up is probably probably the best like 4K release. Not I'm not talking uh, like between packaging and movie itself, even though I really liked this movie. But this 4K is outstanding. The Northman, wow. <laughs> This, uh, wow. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but wow. This is a very sharp movie. This looks so good. Uh, if you're in it for the picture quality or anything like that, Northman, I mean, A++. <laughs> this, is a, this is an incredible release. Really enjoyed the movie. So this is one of the only, uh, what? One of the only standard, regular studio release, plain slip versions I got. Everything else is boutique or uh, a steelbook version or something. So, 
Yeah, this was really, really great. This next one, I probably should have shown this after Vampire's Kiss. That would have made way more sense. But I don't do things that make sense at all. <laughs> but uh, I saw this uh, what a, the Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. What a freaking name. But uh, I watched this for the first time. I didn't see it in theaters. I watched it on the disc. And wow, this movie is a blast. Uh, this was my second favorite of the year. And then I went and saw Black Bone, which took the number two spot for me just edging this. But wow, I uh, enjoyed the hell out of this. <laughs> if you like Nick Cage or anything, there is a lot in this movie. Uh, little Easter eggs and callbacks to past movies. And overall, this is just a really fun time. Uh, great Steelbook release. Really, really dig it. Uh, there's the back, but yeah. Great, great release. Seriously, uh, man, I had so much fun with this one. Now, here's one that I bet a lot of you watch and don't know. Uh, heck, I saw almost no one pick this title up, honestly, in, in pickups. I think I saw Tony, Basement Blues, as the only. I mean, Serial at Midnight got this sent to him from Kino, and I think Tony was the only other person I saw that freaking had this. But Francis, the Talking Mule, seven movie collection from Kino Lorber, this encapsulates what I love about Kino Lorber, what I, I adore about Kino Lorber. They save movies that nobody gives a shit about, like at all. These are fun, silly, post-war movies. It's, I mean, it's it's the, a talking mule in the Navy. It's just fun. Uh, there's seven movies in this collection. None of these, I don't believe any of these were on blu-ray previously so seven movies first time to blu-ray remastered I, I mean what more can i say kino lorber is a tremendous studio like they uh as a label they put out stuff no one else will touch so yeah no one really talked about this no one really cared it was on the pricier side uh i mean you get seven movies in it but in a slim case you got the movies are doubled up and stuff, but yeah, it's uh, it's really cool. I, I love Kino Larber releasing stuff that no one touches. Keep the classics alive, release the silly stuff from the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, stuff no one else is touching. The stuff that the, the main studios don't care about that are sitting in their vault. Yes, Kino, give it to us. I wouldn't have thought that a list like this would have two releases that have Donald O'Connor. So Donald O'Connor is the star of six of those seven Francis the Talking Mule movies. And he is also a major person in Singing in the Rain. The 4K release, thumbs up. It's great. Uh, specifically, I love this Zavi release with the gorgeous steel book. But yeah, this was an incredible release. I was super pumped to get this. And it is most definitely, I knew right away this was going to be in my top 10. So very, very happy to have this. I have a fair amount of older stuff in my top 10, but I really, I really dig that stuff. But yeah, great release. Three more releases up here. Uh, going to be showing an Arrow title now. And I was really contemplating that brand new, amazing True Romance release. It's incredible. But I'm going to give the edge to the 1987 classic Robocop in 4K. Great, great release. The only thing that I think I would have liked different is with that true romance they gave us, the deluxe set that also had the steel book. Like, you got the best of both worlds. I wish they did that for this also. That would have been great because I wanted the Robocop steel book and I wanted this and I didn't want to pick. True romance, you didn't have to pick. I liked that. But still, Robocop, I give the slight edge to as a movie. I, I enjoy this one just a little bit more. And it looked great. So, yeah. Robocop, another thumbs up. Cheesy thumbs up. But, yeah, this is a really, really great release. Okay, final two. And I feel like if you watch my channel, you probably know what one of them is. First, I'm going to throw out The Untouchables. Uh, this is a great Prohibition-era movie. 
I have, I've always been really intrigued by Prohibition era. It, it's always been fascinating. Something that something as simple like alcohol that millions of people consume was full on outlawed in the United States. And that doesn't stop people from consuming alcohol, of course. So the the whole mob scene and running alcohol and distributing it, it was just incredibly fascinating. And heck, I'm a NASCAR fan and NASCAR was essentially born off of the Prohibition. Uh, it's grassroots are from the Prohibition. So I just, it's, it's a fascinating era. And this is an excellent, excellent Brian De Palma movie. I, I really incredible. And this was a great 4K. Uh, de definitely pick this up. I think this is only like, I think you can still get this steelbook easily. It's, it's worth every penny, seriously get this release. If you haven't seen this movie, you'll love it. All right, here we are, final release. And I, like I said, I feel like if you watch my channel, you have an idea. Uh, I love this director, but the Alfred Hitchcock volume two set. I know the volume one set is the, the big stuff. So that's what most people care about. And the volume one set is amazing. There are some there's great stuff in the volume two set. Uh, they they look great. Uh, you have suspense, you have fun. With Trouble with Harry is uh, such a blast. And my gosh, does it look incredible, all that fall foliage and stuff. But yeah, you get, you get good movies, ones that are a little more like B tier for, for Hitchcock. And it's just, this is a great release. I'm really hoping we get a volume three somewhere in 2023 i i don't know what would be in it hopefully rope but yeah this is great i knew this was going to be on my list also so yeah that's that completes my top 10 of quarter two i'm really curious what quarter three is gonna hold there seems to be some really great stuff coming out throughout the summer so yeah quarter three will be july august and september there's going to be some pretty great stuff in there, I think. So I'm going to be looking forward to the quarter three video. Uh, if anyone watching would like to release their type of favorites from quarter one, quarter two, I'd be really interested to see. But yeah, that is all I got. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.